Hey, what's up guys? Blue Moon Mining here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to plot Chia, uh, or how to plot your high drive to farm Chia. So, um, this is the price of it right now. I just thought I'd show you guys the normal stuff I usually do when I start doing these videos, you know. None of these things are scripted or pre-planned, I just kind of throw it together. So, I already got everything downloaded, but just want to show you guys everything. Now, there is just a warning though. Plotting hard drives takes a very long time and you're going to need a lot of stuff, so uh, be prepared to be ripping some hair out probably because it's it's kind of a, a monotonous, torturous task to do. Um, but of course, if you guys never want to go through that and you guys have the money, not a sponsor, but there are the Evergreen Miners, um, shout out to them, they, they sell you guys pretty much pre-plotted uh, drives and everything so yep see it's got pre-plotted hard drives and you can get multiple kits all the way up to 160 terabytes but uh, the base price is 6 terabytes at 299 you get two of those and they're three terabyte drives each so yeah but if you guys don't have the money to that for that and you guys have just random hard drives laying around you guys want to start getting farming some chia well here's the video for it now there are a few things you're going to need so what I would recommend and even the chia chia themselves also recommend that for a plotting device or plotting drive so here we'll get to it we'll get to it but here's all the pools and stuff but you want to go to their website and you're going to want to download their wallet basically. Once you get that downloaded, it's going to look like this when you first load it up and download it. It's going to ask if you want to do wallet mode or farming mode. You guys are going to want to choose farming mode because you guys are going to be, well, you guys are going to be doing farming. So, alright, just one second while I get these over. Alright, sorry if the video, video seems a bit off to you, by the way. I am using a virtual machine to do this because my computer already has everything set up. And I kind of want to make it look like a fresh start, so I uh, want to start using... For videos where I show off things, I want to start using virtual machines for it, so everything's going to be a little bit different. Um, so sorry for anything if I take a while to pause my videos and stuff. So, yeah, once you get all your... Uh, phrases and stuff written down please do not store them on drives or anything I would strongly recommend writing down your keys on a notebook and a piece of paper where you can store it away because trust me you may not believe it but people can hack into your computer and they can get your keys fairly easily but this is what it's going to look like when you guys first load up the Chia blockchain or just the, the Chia wallet as it is you're going to have multiple options even the full node down here um, I do want to just let you guys know that if you guys are going to mine Chia on your hard drives, you do have to keep open uh, this tab. It doesn't really use too much, but yeah. So, you're going to have plots, and this is where you're going to go to start your plots. You're going to click add a plot, but you guys would be solo mining if you just went straight to add a plot. So, what you guys are going to want to do if you guys don't want to solo mine, because it's your guys are gonna have to have a lot of a lot of storage to even hit solo blocks. Um, so I recommend pooling, and you do have to pay to do pooling. But luckily, Chia has your back. So if you want to join a pool, you need Chia to join a pool. Well, you can easily add Chia by clicking this right here. It's gonna open up your browser and it's going to ask for your wallet address so then what you guys are going to do, you're going to go over here receive, copy your address and you're going to paste it click you're not a robot figure out where bicycles are, verify, yada 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 you know all that fun stuff and there it's going to take a few moments but it is going to send you a very small amount of Chia and once that Chia is in your account whenever that is going to happen, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, due to the fact that this is not fully synced yet, I don't I don't think it's going 
to show up but it's going to send you a very small amount of chia so after that you're going to want to click join a pool and then you're going to, it's going to ask you information about the pool so then you're going to want to go to minor mining pool stats and there's going to be all these pools um, choose whatever pool you want it doesn't really matter which one of course some people are also going to some people are going to choose the ones that don't take too much um, fees and this that and the other thing um, for testing purposes I usually go with the top pool which would be pool.space which is the chia pool so yeah and you're going to want to connect all that it's, it's going to help you through it it's pretty self explanatory it's not a hard process about actually like going through it like plotting your drives it's actually not hard it's not difficult um, you pretty much just click add a plot um, it's going to choose what plotter you want. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Um, there are multiple plots. You can use Mad Max. I usually just use Chia Proof or the Chia Proof of Space. I have not tried Blade Bit, but I know there are faster ways now that you can. I, I've heard that you can now plot with a GPU, so I'm not 100% sure how that works. But you can also choose the plot size. Um, so this is where things may get a little bit tricky, but this first number is how much how big the plot is going to be And this is how much your temporary drive is going to use So your temporary drive is another drive Which is why I go back to recommending that you have an SSD or an M.2 for your temporary drive Because then it can download the plot onto your hard drive a lot quicker You want a slower drive for your plots such as a hard drive and you want a quick drive like an SSD or an M.2 uh, NVMe to actually temporary or plot the drive for you. But you can go all the way up with the Chia proof of space. You can go all the way up to 884 gigabytes. Um, you're going to need over 2 terabyte SSD or something like that. Whatever you want for a fast drive M.2 SSD. You want to do a temporary version of that. Or good size that. Um, I'm pretty sure the Mad Max you can get a little bit higher. No, never mind. But yeah, so you can go all the way up to 800 gigabytes, and then you want to go choose how many plots you want to do. It doesn't really matter how many plots as long as you have the space to do it. And this is where you want to select your temporary drive. Um, they say they recommend you use a fast drive, so you just click browse. You choose your SSD, M.2, whatever one you're using. And then the final directory is basically an external or an internal hard drive, such as, you know, if you got like a terabyte or two terabyte. Hell, maybe even are lucky enough to have a freaking 16 terabyte. Slap whatever you want. You put that right down there. And then you click join a pool. Um, when you have a pool connected, you do not have to worry about this. It will actually give you the option to connect to whatever pool you are using. So you'll just have a drop-down menu. Every time you plot a device, you're going to click that drop-down and find the pool that you're using. Uh, or else it will plot it to a solo. So um, always make sure you guys do that. I know this video isn't going too in-depth. I didn't have enough time to like throw this together. You know, I just kind of just got up and want to help out but it's, it's it's easy nonetheless to actually you know plot drives and mine chia it's not it's not a hard task at all it's just actually plotting the drives takes a long time like I think for me to do I did eight plots on two drives and I think it took me two and a half days to get them completely done it took forever and I was downloading them using an SSD onto a hard drive and it still took a long time so yeah um, other than that in all honesty I, uh, Evergreen may be a worthwhile investment uh, the things use barely any watts you know just I think it's I think like 10 to 15 watts is usually what it pulls and that's just for the starting kit. So that's the two of them right here. Because these are running off of Raspberry Pis. And they also have, you know, well, it's a Raspberry Pi. 
<laughs> Excuse me. I did not mean to yawn. I've been trying to stop yawning, but I'm awake. I'm awake. I've checked. I've chugged like four Mountain Dews. I'm doing great. So, but yeah. So these are just more convenient. Um, they're not a sponsor. I'm just sell shouting them out. Um, I may actually be buying one myself. Actually, probably soon. Probably when I get into my new house. But yeah. And an update on that, I will be dropping the down payment on that house next week, so wish me uh, wish me luck, guys. Uh, big steps, big steps, and uh, the only thing I'm worried about is actually getting the power into the room where I will be mining, because my goodness, guys, I did not know that 10-2 Romex wire was that expensive, but now I do, guys. But yeah, so, um, this is always an option if you guys have the money. But if you guys don't, you can always slap your hard drives on there, and it it, it works fine. Um, it's not much of a hassle to get set up in any way. It's just you gotta have a lot of patience because it takes a long time to plot those drives. So, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I know it kind of just seems thrown together because that's it, it is. Um, I don't really have time to you know just kind of edit videos and stuff, especially with how I'm how I've been working my ass off every single day so wish me luck on uh, my life outside of crypto I wish I could be full-time YouTube and crypto but it just doesn't pay um, if I can get sponsors and stuff in the future it may help me uh, move towards that but at the current moment that's not where we're at but I do have affiliate links down in the description if you guys do want to support the channel um, but my videos over time as I get more time to do it I will be putting more effort in these videos and planning them ahead um, lately the video uh, I haven't been able to just get videos out that much lately especially with the moving and stuff that I'm getting ready for so hope you guys can understand that I'm sorry I don't upload much lately but Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Or night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.